Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install mods into your QB Core server. This is a long awaited tutorial. A lot of you guys have been asking how to do this, and it is finally here. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to install additional QB Core mods into your 5M server for free and very, very super quickly because this is a very, very easy thing to do. But a lot of people just aren't confident enough for it. So if we open up our QB Core server, go to TX Data, QB Core Framework, and then Resources. And open up our QB subfolder. And here will be pretty much every single dependency that QB Core currently uses. So if you guys haven't touched your QB Core since installing it with TX Admin, you'll have something that looks very, very similar to mine. This is going to be every single thing. So through here, you can configure each one of these. So say if you wanted to change the multi character menu, you can go into here and you can mess around with a config. Say if you wanted to change the houses script, you can go into the QB houses and mess around with the config. I wouldn't mess around with anything else unless you really know what you're doing. But this is going to be where we install all of our QB mods too. So for today's video, if you hit the link down in the description below, we're going to be installing this mod right here, QB Radio. If you don't want to install this and you want to install a different mod, feel free to do so. It's going to work the exact same way. So use this video for any mod you want. As long as it's QB Core, it will work the exact same way. But I figured a lot of people are probably going to want a QB Radio mod if it isn't already in the game, which it isn't from default. So I thought this would be a best of both worlds. So right here, the first link you click is going to be something that a lot of you guys might not be familiar with, but is a really, really useful place. It's going to be the QB Core sort of documentation area. So through here, it gives you tons of useful links, tons of guides, although you're probably watching my videos. So thank you very much for that. And literally everything you need to know. So if you want to know how to use the QB Core crypto mod, you just click that and it'll show you down here like this sort of an example of how the scripts work. And here you can see what changes and config messages and example it just makes life a little bit easier if you ever are lost. So this is what we're going to install. And we're going to hit the next link down in the description below. And that being goes right here to the QB framework on GitHub and then to the QB radio mod. So hit code and then download zip and open up your QB radio mod download. Just like every single mod ever on 5M, you're going to be greeted usually with a main folder and inside of here will be all of your standard plugin folders and files. So what we're going to do, we're going to rename this from main and the little hyphen to just delete these two bits and call it QB radio. Very, very simply, we're going to grab this and you guessed it, drag and drop it into our QB subfolder, making sure we're not accidentally putting it into any folders. Just make sure it's actually in the subfolder itself. And since it's in the subfolder and that is already insured, there's no extra steps. We don't have to ensure it in our server.cfg. We don't have to add anything into our server.cfg. We can now very, very simply go back to our server, double click on the default.bat and start our server on up. And I'll launch into the game and show you guys how to use it. So once you guys are in game, all you guys are going to do is open up your game chat. And just like I have right here, you're going to do slash give item and then your player ID for me, something only one on the server right now, one, and then the item name, which is radio. And then the amount one, I'm assuming you guys only want one radio. And then hit enter and it should say you have been given a radio. Then all you guys are going to do is open up our inventory like normal. So once you guys have done that, all you guys are going to want to do is open up your inventory and you should be able to see now that in the inventory somewhere, usually just on the next slot, it will spawn a radio into your inventory. I have two since I was double checking it was working. You can either hold it and click use, drag it and drop it over to use, or as long as it's in one of your hotbar options, literally just click the number and it's in. And just like that, it should pop up with your radio. It's actually a pretty good mod, pretty seamless. And obviously all the buttons and everything will work to actually use it. You can change channels, join channels, and just make sure you guys are all on the same channel. Some frequencies are locked, you guys can see right here, only because some are locked to police jobs. So you can mess around with that in the config like I showed you guys earlier if you want to. But other than that, pretty seamless, it's pretty easy, and also the exact same way to install every single other QB Core mod. If you guys did find this useful please be sure to like comment and subscribe comment down below what video you guys want to see next and check out the channel sponsors that posting down in the description below if you guys are in the market for some cheap 5m servers or minecraft server literally any game server in the world i'm pretty sure they have it and i'll see all of you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye